and welcome to this week's studio vlog. If you're new here, I'm Hannah. What can you expect in today's video? Well, I have got some wholesale orders, which I will talk later about those for you. I have got three to four Etsy orders to fulfill. So off the top of my head, I've got three or four mugs and some hangers. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to prep for tomorrow, just so I can get ahead of myself. Cause I know on Friday, I've got about 18 orders that I've got to be out by then. So I'm gonna prep a few days ahead so they can go out on time. Yeah, so if you follow me over on Instagram, you will know that I bit the bully and decided to sign up for Patreon. Okay, so a little bit about what to expect from Patreon. I'm going to be sharing a deeper look into my business, what works, what doesn't work, where have failed, where have I succeeded, how did I get to this point, what have I studied, what have I done along the way, all things like that. So I'll be sharing that on my bi-weekly podcast. Is that the right word? Not sure, but I'll be doing them every two weeks. So what can you expect from the third tier? Well, I have decided to call this one community and I will be giving feedback. Hopefully you've got some points that you can take from the podcast and the videos and how you can implement that into your own business, lettering, hobby, whatever it is that you do and you want to make that into a side hustle or into a full-time business, hopefully, those things that you've learned from the podcast, we can have a look at what it is that you want improving, whether that's marketing strategy on social media, whether that's looking at your Etsy shop and how you can improve, or if it's just generally as a whole that you want to lift your business and take it to the next level. Generally across my work, I don't usually talk about the financial or the opportunities that I've had, but in this podcast I do want to talk about the benefits of Etsy and how I've got to where I am today, being published in magazines. I started the business from just my Mac and I bought a silhouette machine, just the portrait. And along the way, on top of this, as well as Etsy, I've worked for different companies, I've worked wholesale, I've worked with different brands and some of them have worked, some of them haven't, some of them have folded, and it's just about talking through that. I will be doing a video on YouTube about not putting all your eggs in one basket, so I will be doing that in the next few weeks. The first job of today is my mug orders and for this I've printed the design using my Rico printer and sublimation ink. I then take the design to the mug using heat resistant tape and measure three or four times just to make sure it's in the correct position before being pressed. Turn the heat press on and I make sure the press is set to 346 degrees. I then place the mug in and close the clamp. For my makeup pots I add a crystal to the name and for this I use the Silhouette Pick Me Up tool which has a tacky point that allows for picking tiny crystals up and placing them on your design.
My next job is to pack a few of the orders, just so they don't pile up, making it easier later on. They were in high school when they met, and things got kind of awkward. With sparks in the air, he would stare at her in class, and she would try to act cool. What's the date today? But it was obvious, like ooh, they would be together. One day she said, write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper Started writing Probably something about her eyes And how they're always shining Or something cliche like Ooh Baby, I only want you It's true And then he said I wrote you a love song I tried to make it beautiful It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away Yeah, I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang, she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand He held her close under the moonlight as they kept on dancing mm -mm -mm. and now they're singing their love song and they sing it kind of beautiful calling each other sweetheart i promise nobody can get in their way or steal the show they're in love now, and I wanted you to know. Some of you on my Instagram, or if you've noticed in some of my YouTube videos, will notice that my sister is in the background, and you always ask, what is it she's doing? So I thought I'd turn the camera around, and it is her turn to answer my questions. Hi, I'm Rachel. I own um, the Stables Printing Company, uh, just part time because when I'm not here in the office, I like to roller skate and go to my local circus school where I teach. Um, so, this is my part time work. I take this and turn it into bespoke orders Whoop, like this. This is how we're going to do some garment printing. Cut your vinyl using what software? Silhouette. Top tip if your vinyl is a little tough to peel. You can use the heat from the bed of the press to keep the vinyl warm enough to peel smoothly. Here's my white hoodie. Now I use a ruler to line up where I'm going to put the positioning.
I like to make sure that it's right, so I hold it up, have a check. And is it right? Looks good. Looks good. So it's ready for the press. Next, I carry it over to the press, which is already set at 170, and we press it for 15 seconds, making sure that no dirts go onto our hoodie. I like to put a sheet over the top and press it down. 15 seconds. What can you do? I like to juggle. <laughs> Perfect timing. First layer of our hoodie's done. Next step, put our second layer on, which goes over the top of the rose gold. And then we check again. Does it look good? Yep, looks correct. Ready for the press. One finished garment ready to be checked and packed. It's now the afternoon and I've done my Etsy orders for this morning and I'm going to be doing some of the wholesale orders that I do and for this I offer a direct service with cake companies, small businesses and I create the cake toppers on a one-to-one -one personal level. So they send me an idea of what they want, I then create the cake topper and I send them the invoice. Usually they'll order two or three cake toppers at a time that they need for the next few weddings or few celebrations coming up. And that way they can combine postage and I can offer them a better price. And yeah, I'm gonna be using a mixture of my iPad, Inkscape for digitising it and then sending it over to the laser machine later to be cut. I've also got to send some proofs to the business before I can go ahead. Yeah, let's crack on with this. Jumping from cliffs so high Trust in our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground After finishing my initial drawing, I use Inkscape to vectorize the image and edit the nose to make sure the design is strong enough to hold itself up. For example, I need to make sure any gaps need to be joined up. I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down yeah. the sky is falling I then save this file and send it over to the laser machine.
I hope you found this video useful in some way and as always if you have any questions about the equipment or software let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in next week's studio vlog.